In this tutorial, I'm going to talk briefly about CSS3's transition and transform properties. Um, I have a little bit of a basic setup happening here. I have a meta tag that um, prevents scaling on uh, mobile devices like uh, the iPhone, and it also sizes the width of the page to the width of the device. Additionally, I've got jQuery and the jQuery um, on ready function. So the first thing I'm going to do, and, and I'll use those uh, things in a little bit because I'm going to talk about how this is useful on mobile devices. The first thing I'm going to do is create a, um, a div with a class box and in a little bit I'll make more of them but for now I'll just have one. It's going to be position relative and with a width and height of 50. Now I'm going to say when I hover over the box, the background color is blue. This works nicely on desktop, but it doesn't really do anything on the iPhone at least. So we'll switch that over to JavaScript in a moment. Now I'm going to implement the WebKit transition. And I'm using WebKit here because I'm inside Chrome. If you were in Firefox, you could use uh, Mozilla, or if you were in Opera, you could use O. Um, one of the reasons why it's nice to use WebKit here is because uh, mobile devices, um, a lot of mobile devices use WebKit browsers. So the first thing I tell it is which property I want to transition. So I could specify width or background color. Um, I can also just say all. So any change to any property on box is going to be animated over the course of one second with an ease out easing function. So if I wanted to do less than one second, I could say 500 milliseconds like that. Um, now, when I roll over this, it animates over the course of one second from red to blue. We could change the width if we want. And that'll animate as well. We can change the easing function. There are custom easing functions as well, but they're, uh, I guess, beyond the scope of this tutorial. Um, WebKit uh, transform is a property that allows us to transform elements. Now, we can rotate, scale, skew, and translate using this property. So first I'll rotate 45 degrees. like so. Let's speed this up a little bit. And maybe I'll scale that scales it to 200%. Now this method of specifying rotation and scale is fine for desktop devices. But if you're using uh, mobile devices, and uh, specifically something running iOS, like an iPad or an iPhone, if you use the specific axes that you want to, say, rotate around. So I say I want to rotate around the z-axis. And if you scale and specify 200% uh, for both the x and the y-axis, and you can just say 100% for the z-axis, um, it kicks into 3D mode and gets hardware accelerated. So it looks the same on the desktop, but uh, this will kick it into 3D mode and it'll get hardware accelerated. Now, um, I'm not an Android master, but um, in a couple months ago I saw this on Android and it didn't work. Um, so there's a lot of stuff to play around with here. But if you're targeting uh, for the iPhone, 
it's a nice idea to specify your axes and get that hardware acceleration. It is really, really fast. Um, after this tutorial, you can make a little demo and try it out. So, unfortunately, um, let me make a few more boxes here. Unfortunately, this uh, hover doesn't work on the phone. So if we want to get the same effect on the phone, we need to uh, use JavaScript uh, mouse over, or JavaScript hover, uh, or jQuery hover, rather. So first I'll float these guys, and I'll give them a margin of four pixels. And you can see there's a sorting issue, so when I roll over, I'll say Z index equals 100. Maybe I'll spin these 180. All right, looks good. So we want to take this trans, uh, all these CSS properties, and pop them into JavaScript. So we'll say on all the boxes when we hover. When we mouse over this.css, and I'm just going to convert this from regular CSS into something that uh, jQuery can understand inside of an object literal. So I capitalize the C, I put the color in quotation marks. Um, I can just put this in quotation marks. Additionally, I could just uh, camel case it. I'll put all of these guys in quotation marks. And uh, Z index, I'll just camel case. Get rid of all of the semicolons. Place them with commas. And uh, let's shrink the code a little bit here. See if we have an error. Oh, yeah. There we go. So it doesn't uh, go back to its original state, so we need to specify that. Um, I'm just going to copy this. Its original state is red, um, 0 degrees, and 100%. And the z-index, we could just set it to 1. So same effect, but achieved with JavaScript. Um, now, if we look at it on the phone, the hover action requires a tap, but you get the same effect. So there's really a lot you can do with this, and uh, I'll let you take it from here. That's the end of the tutorial.